Hello everyone, this is going to be a video of the Sarko Smokestacks Demolition as seen on KTSM News Channel 9 on Saturday, April 13th, 2013. This is being used in our U.S. copyright law, Fair Use. everyone and welcome as we watch as history is about to be made here in El Paso. The Sarko Stacks just literally minutes away from coming down. Let's go ahead and check back in with Kagan Harsha. He is over at the media staging, which is the closest vantage point on the ground to the actual demolition. And uh, Kagan, you said we saw the red flag. What happens next? Uh, what actually just happened seconds ago is we saw a little plume of smoke. That was the fireworks going up. So we're actually just moments away. That happened a little bit sooner than planned. It was supposed to be three minutes out from the demolition. There was actually only a gap of about a minute. So it looks like we, this could happen at any time right now. Uh, the helicopters are kind of clearing out from the area. And it looks like, uh, you know, we're just seconds away. We're seeing a lot of reporters here. Well, we're showing you a live shot here. But a lot of uh, reporters, a lot of the people in the, the uh, VIP area putting on masks just in case with this dust. A lot of people getting prepared for the actual moment now. Righty, folks. And as soon as we hear that big uh, explosion, uh, we will kind of keep it silent here so we could hear it live, the noise, the sights, the sounds, everything that will come with this demolition. Again, 300 pounds of dynamite used for this demolition. I don't know if you can see in that shot what we're seeing. Here we go. And there you have it, folks. History here in El Paso. As far as we know, everything went according to plan. Uh, less than a minute it took for the two Asarco stacks to come down. Let's go ahead and check in once again with Kagan Harsha. He is live at the media staging point. And Kagan, what did that feel like? You heard the big blast. What was that like? It was uh, definitely pretty neat to just watch that happen. This is something that you know it's, it, people are going to be talking about here in El Paso for decades to come. And it, it, what's amazing to me is it happened much faster than they even had told us it probably would. Uh, there was supposed to be a nine-second gap between those two stacks falling, and as you saw, it was it was much less than that. That that smaller one actually went first. We had been told it was going to be the larger tower to fall uh, before the smaller one. But as you can see with the dust right now, it's not really moving at all, just kind of hanging right there. And those misters are pumping out about 3,000 gallons of water per minute. They're going to run for the next 20 to 30 minutes to try and keep that dust in this area and prevent it from spreading into the other parts of El Paso and Juarez, which is a, uh, we're also very close to right here. But uh, you probably heard the, sh the cheers from the crowd. That was from the VIP area. As soon as that first tower fell, we heard cheers. We heard another blast, and it looked like that, that larger tower wasn't falling for a second, so there were some concerns. Uh, from the crowd here about that, I think people thinking there was uh, something going wrong, but immediately, uh, you know, seconds after that, tower number two towered over, it, or toppled over, and as you, can, as, as you mentioned, it looks like a success from everything we're seeing here at this uh, media staging area vantage point.